Hi everyone, welcome back to Beam Crew Revit tutorial. So in this session, we're going to continue to introduce you a few tools, which is the windows and door tools here. Okay, so that's how we draw our door. From the architecture tab, if we want to add a door, we can click on this door here. Then similarly, you will see the properties palette here. If you click on the drop down list, there is a doors with a different size. If you want more type of door, you can always go to your insert, load your family, then find your libraries. Normally, that your libraries will be kept under the drive C and then program data and then your Revit files and then the libraries over here. I'm going to pick on English or UK. UK. You have to choose a several folders uh, to find out where is the, actually the libraries located. Okay. So in this case, uh, I'm in Revit 2021. I have a UK folder. Then you can see there is uh, doors over here. Then it divided to a door I mangrees. And then the external doors, internal doors, and structure, even the structure door opening is provided here. Okay, so I'm gonna choose internal door because I'm gonna deal with apartment unit. So an uh, internal door, then you can find out a lot of doors over here, different type of doors available here. So these are all type of doors available here. Then. I will choose something like this, which is doors INT SGL1. Then I click OK. Then wait a couple of seconds, and then you will see the drop down list. We have the draw door INT SGL6. Okay. So don't worry if you the door is not as per your requirement. You can always create your own family. The new type of family of your doors. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm not going to go into that detail in this session. So we just use whatever provided in Revit. Okay, so this is the door. Let's say our main door is something like this. Then I just hover your mouse close to the wall here. Then you click on here. Then you will be able to place your door. Okay, then click on this small icon here. To go to the 3D view, so this is your door. So very quickly, it's done. This is your door, and it will be adjusted according to the thickness of the wall. Okay. So let's say I'm going to put one door over here. I'm going to create similar. Right click and click on create similar. I put on this wall over here. Then you will see the door jam is automatically updated according to the thickness of the wall. Okay, so that's very easy according uh, according to this and compared to AutoCAD that we are usually using. Okay, let's go back to level one. Then uh, delete this moment. Then we need to go back to wireframe mode. Then you can see actually the wall is stop over here. Then you can actually drag this wall, then stop it over here. So provide the main access to the house. Okay. So it just, this is the access to the house. Then if you can see the doors actually is wider than what we have here in this family, we can actually measure the door by using this measuring tool measure the door width this is actually a 1200 door okay so don't worry if you don't have this size you can always go to duplicate edit type and then duplicate I want a thousand two mm times two thousand four mm door okay then we click OK then we can adjust the parameters over here. This is called parameters. So height, I'm going to adjust to 2004. And then the width, of course, is to 1002. Okay. So click OK. Then the door is changed larger. And we have one additional family created over here. Okay. 
So don't worry if you don't have your door size. Create until you have met your actually what's the door size you require. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to remain one thousand two and uh two thousand four hundred mm high door. Okay. So the rest of the door, you can actually place your own door over here. Let's say I want to go back to this architecture tab, and then click on this door panel. Then we place our door. Let's say I'm going to choose this door, and then we place it over here. A simple door opening. Then this this here, you can press on your keyboard space bar to flip over your door. Then, of course, after you place the door, you can click on this arrow key here to flip over your doors as per your requirement. Okay, so, uh, and then uh, this is a door, and then this is a sliding door actually, the sliding door for the common area for these people. Go inside here, then go to this arrow here. So let's find out whether we have a sliding door. Insert load family. Then from the list of the door here, we search through. Okay, there's no sliding door over here. Let's say I'm could choose this one external door. Check whether we have sliding door. And we don't have the sliding door over here either. Okay, so don't worry. I'm going to create another separate session. To create this custom-made sliding door, that be able to create a structure opening and place it over here. Okay, so for this door here, I'm going to go back to the door uh, family door panel again. You can click on this architecture and then the door, or you can straight away be in keyboard shortcut D R to directly access to your door to. I'm going to choose this 864 door space bar. Then place it over here. Then these are all the door available and created. Okay. Okay, that's simple for this session. So I'm going to end the session here for the door. Placement of the door. Okay, I'm going to delete this two slab that not required. Delete. Then the next session we're going to focus on windows, windows tools, and then the facade tools, railing tools, and then the window tools over here. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you.